Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mods 6. Uh, last episode, we actually figured out how to um, put enchantments onto our tools, and, as you can see, we can repair tools. Our tool is uh, fully repaired, which is beautiful. Um, it's pretty good. One thing I want to do quickly is address our our mob issue. We, we had a bunch of mobs spawning, and so I think it's about time that we um, we make some torches, some powerful torches. Now, there's two that we have here. We have a mega torch, which prevents natural spawning of hostile mo uh, monsters in a big radius around the torch. Um, and then we have a feral flare lantern, which places invisible lights. Um, this guy's a bit cheaper than the other guy, so looks like just glass, a bit of glowstone, and gold. Whereas this other guy is blocks of gold and diamond. And then some of these torches, which, um... I don't know about you, but... Pretty ridiculous. Uh, molten core. I think we actually have one of those. We would need an, en an enderman drop and a bat wing and a blaze rod. Um, all of which we don't have. So, <laughs> let's grab our gold and our glowstone. Um, and we have some glass. And let's try out the, the feral flare lantern. Um, so, I'm not sure how the radius of this works. Um, but I guess what I should do is try it over here. In, like, this location. So, let's... um, Should I? Or should I do it near the base? Maybe I should do it near the base. Let's place it right... Here. So there it is. We've placed it. It's down. Um, and I assume... I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll, we'll check back at night time. And, and see what we notice. I could probably try breaking like uh, these torches and picking them up. And seeing if I notice anything. Um, so far, nothing really. But, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll give it a chance. We'll give it some time to, I guess, do its thing. Um, <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, okay. So... Let's try and automate some farms. Currently, we have it so that the grow the, the grown um you know produce is harvested almost instantly. It's beautiful. It, it does its job, but the items are not picked up and it's not planted again. So that's um what we need to work on this episode. Um, so we're gonna need gold. Um, let's also turn these blocks into ingots just to make it a bit easier on ourselves. Um, we also need what do we need? Hmm. I think we actually need a carrot. And a potato. Right? Because we need the harvester... Uh, where is it? We need a blank upgrade. So, pedestal upgrade base. We need to combine it with... Yeah, with a potato, a carrot, and a sapling. So, we're missing a sapling. Which I think I chucked in here. Yes, saplings. Beautiful. See, I'm prepared. I know what I'm doing. Um, so, planter upgrade. Check. Um, I think we'll also want an item magnet upgrade. So, we're going to need another one of these guys. We'll need a block of redstone and a block of iron, which it looks like we actually have on us. So there we go. That makes our job a bit easier. Boom, boom, boom. So now we have a magnet. Now we're going to want to put range on this guy um, and the other guy. We're going to want... I think area we want. An area upgrade. Hmm. Is that all we want? I think. I think that's all we want. We, uh, we could probably go with another um, pedestal. That won't hurt. There we go. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how this goes then. So first off, let's see if we were to enchant this, what options does it give us? Area 3? That sounds pretty good. What does this guy give us? Area 3 as well. Okay. Um, that sounds great. Let's, um... Now, I do need lapis. So I think I'm going to have to go mining a bit just to get lapis. And then I'll be back. Ooh, a bat! <laughs> if we kill this guy and he drops a wing, we can maybe make that thing. Ooh, he dropped a wing. Nice. <laughs> we can possibly make that... Was that another bat? It is. Eh, eh. Oh, he if he comes to me, I'll kill him. But if he's going to make me run for him, I might just uh, let him be for now. But we'll find more later. Oh, check out this. I think we have some diamond in this direction. So, don't mind if I do mine in this direction until we find... Di there we go. <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll, I, you know, I'm not going to say no. Um, oh, yeah, we'll avoid that. Avoid this. This, and there's our diamonds. Beautiful. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to keep right-clicking around here until I find some lapis. Um, I might check if they spawn at a better level because, you know, I'm clearly not finding any. But, um, yeah. You know what? They actually don't spawn that well at uh, Bedrock. So, we're actually a lot better trying to mine for it at, what, Y14. So, I guess that's where I'm going. Oh, here we go. Um, block up that, and here is what we wanted. Beautiful. That's, uh, probably enough to... Oh, 30, yeah. That's enough to last us quite a little bit, I think. Um, well, I could probably just slash home. 
Alrighty, I reckon we just enchant it and see how it goes. So, area three sounds good to me. Oh, this also has speed and range. So now this does a nine by nine, which is what we want, but it also does nine vertically, which is exactly what we want. Um, the, the reason we want that is that means I think we can place our pedestal either higher up in the air or further down below. And that will help us perfectly because um, otherwise the range is a bit weird. Um, so ideally we want that for our magnet as well. Fingers crossed. Ooh, we only got speed and range. We want area. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to make an area book. What does an area book cost? Area. Um, do we have one of these? A book and an iron ingot. We might have made one. We also might not have. <laughs> we either did or we didn't. That's the real thing. Um, it looks like we didn't. I do, however, have a book. Oh, actually, no. We do. Here it is. Right here. <laughs> I am blind. But not blind enough that I didn't see it eventually. Okay. Pedestal area five? Or four, sorry. Um, we don't really need that, but... Yeah, sure. I'll take it. Okay, right, so. What we want to do now is place our... Um, our... Yeah, our magnet upgrade under here. No. Well, we want to place, I guess, the book first. So the area book... And then we'll place our magnet underneath. And it should, in theory, work. The fact that it hasn't yet, I think, means we need to put um, either diamonds or more experience into the tank. The reason I say diamonds is because I looked it up and it mentioned, um, I think in this book, it mentioned, let's see, entry index. Um, where are we? There's one here somewhere. Okay, yeah, so here, for overcombining, um, it requires a lot of experience and eight diamonds to be in one of the surrounding things. So we do have eight diamonds. Should we give this a shot? Is that what it needed? We have some crazy mob things happening at the moment. Alright, I don't think it needs my diamonds. I think it might just need a lot of experience. This should be working. It definitely should be. Um, because as you can see, this one only has two of the upgrades. Two level three upgrades. This guy has all three. So I think it just maybe just needs more experience to do the, do the thing. You know what I want to try as well? Can we put a, a speed upgrade on this? To make it go faster. We can do capacity. Ooh, capacity. Range? Hmm. XP bus buffer capacity. It currently does 30 levels. It says zero levels stored. So I think... Yeah, I think it's exporting it into all these other um, spots. So we can do range. Here. Let's just click the, the best one. Alright. I think it only added area to it. <laughs> it didn't do anything else. I guess that's fine. Um, we could definitely try some of these other ones. If I take these off... Um, XP storage capacity, 100 levels. It currently has none in it. Um, this is the bottler. The bottler has nothing stored. That's good. So this guy should have... Oh, did I get a TPA request? I guess someone might have wanted to teleport to me. This only has 23... I mean, it has 23 levels. And it's not doing the thing. Hmm... I don't know. Alright, well, our torch... I mean, it might be working. What is this? This guy looks massive. He's a zombie villager, I guess. Oh. What is this? What, what was that sound? I'm hearing some crazy things. Um, I don't know if this guy's working or not. Let's... Hmm. Oh, you know what? It definitely was. Look how dark it is. But if I place this guy... It was definitely a lot brighter. Right? Like, all this was a bit brighter, wasn't it? Yeah, look! Do you see that? <gasps> Slowly but surely, it lights up the surrounding area. See? Th look at that. Okay. I support this. I support it. Uh, I think we just need to make more. More of those torches. That's pretty cool. Um, you know what? I was going to flame it, but I'm actually... I'm a fan of it now. Um, let's see how many more we can make. Alright, uh, we have another uh, Feral Flare Lantern. Let's place it here. And see see how much of a range it does. Ooh! That is beautiful! Oh, 
It's lighting up the sugar canes. Okay. Oh, <laughs> look at this. It's like a, it's like a movie. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, you know, I'm a fan of it. I'm a fan of it. I'm not a fan of this though. Um, I might just make another. Oh, we're gonna go through so much resources if we keep just making, um, magnets. Hmm. You know what I could do? I can make a grindstone and remove the enchantments off it. Should we do that? Is that, is that the play? I give it a shot. Um, so let's search for what a grindstone. Make one of these. What do I need? Planks. I don't own planks. I own planks now. Grindstone. Boom, boom, boom. Perfect. Okay. Oh, everything's going crazy. Let's um, let's take the magnet out and run it through the grindstone. There we go. Okay. Let's let's just do this then. Oh no, that's not how we do it. So we place it in here, and it should get enchanted. Perfect. There we go. So now it does a three by uh, uh, an 11 and 11 by three. Does that make sense? <laughs> I think so. Hmm. Okay, so one, two. Hmm. Interesting. I have an idea. I have an idea. We need to go underneath. We need a, a pathway to get under there. Um... Nice. I've done it. I've achieved the pathway. <laughs> okay, so we want to get to the middle. Right here. Beautiful. I want to place a... We want to actually go down another level, to be honest. Because I would like to place a chest with a pedestal on top. And this pedestal is going to have the magnet upgrade. Perfect. Magnet upgrade in the chest. Actually, no. Not in the chest. I don't think it needs the chest. I think instead what we do... Oh, here we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then we have, um, we need a room. We need like a bit of an area. We're going to need another pedestal just to transfer items. Um, and we're going to have a pedestal here. Oh, <laughs> not face like that, but you know, upright. This pedestal is going to be, let's also place a torch so that we don't get, you know, mob spawns in here. Um, this guy's going to be the planter. So that's perfect. Then I need another pedestal here. Hmm. And we're going to need a filter. We're going to... Hmm. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I know what to do, but I don't know what to do. Does that make sense? I hope not. Because it doesn't make sense to me. But it also does. Does that make sense? <laughs> Alright, let's make some, uh, some pedestals. Okay. Two pedestals. We'll go for a third. We'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, what do we have over here? Empty. Perfect. Um, oh, boom, boom. Okay, so they're still coming from down there. So, why is there gravel? Hey, hold on a minute. What happened here? Was that there the whole time? <laughs> sure, sure, of course it was. <laughs> we'll pretend it was. Um, is that a drink? Okay, well, I, I mean, I'm still annoyed by the mobs. But look at this! The the Feral Flare Lantern did a pretty good job. Does it light up underwater? Maybe? I can't tell, to be honest. Alright, so, first and foremost, we're going to have a... Hmm, I do need a hopper. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, I need a hopper. <laughs> okay, okay, alright. I have a hopper. Um, and what I'm going to do is place the hopper onto this chest. And this pedestal is going to have nothing on it. It's going to have nothing. But instead, it is going to be... Where's my tool? Oh, it's in the thing. Oh, my God. All right, here we go. So this guy, I'm going to shift right-click because he's going to be receiving from this guy. Okay, link successful. So now, whenever there's an item on this pedestal, it will go in here. As you see, there's dirt that it picked up from, I think, when we broke this area. So it's already working. So inside this chest, beautiful. Perfect. Um, hmm, no, no. Instead, we want to change this around a bit. Instead, what we want is the pedestal to output into a chest here. Now, the reason we want that is because I want another pedestal on here, and this guy's going to have a filter on him. We might be able to even get rid of this. Um, now, I don't know how filters work, but we're going we're gonna to give it a shot. That's what we're going to try and learn. 
Um, look at that though. It's lit up that entire area. That's awesome. Um, okay. So, at pedestal, um, we need some sort of filter. Oh, okay. So, the item filter is just with a bit of wool and an uh, upgrade base. And what I realized as well, just now looking at it, we could have just filtered the magnets, um, which I think would have worked too. But I think we would need multiple magnets in that case. Whereas this, this way that I'm doing it won't need multiple magnets. So... Um, let's get our upgrade base. Our, yeah, our upgrade base. I actually said the right term for it. Um, and let's combine it with a bit of wool. Do we have wool lying around? Oh yeah, we have no wool, uh, but we do have industrial hemp. So let's get, what, 12 of this? String. Wool. Beautiful. Exactly what we needed. Place the wool in here. And we have an item filter. So, how does this filter work? Let's, uh, let's read it. Compares inco incoming items to those in the inventory below. Only allows matching items to pass through the pedestal. That is perfect. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to think if I need anything else. I might need another hopper. Which means I need more iron. Do we not have any more iron? Oh, we do. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to grab just enough. Just enough. Boom, 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 boom. Boom. Hopper. Perfect. Alright, so check out this big brain play. So, the items are going to be put into this chest, and then from this chest, we're going to output items into a... Um, hmm, yeah, into a, another pedestal right here. This pedestal has a filter on it. Oh, no, that doesn't really work. Oh, hmm. Okay, instead of a hopper, we need an item cable. Um, we can probably just use a cyclic one. Uh, brick stairs, do we still have any of those lying around? <laughs> do we have any bricks lying around? Or, um, we have one brick. No, oh, no, 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 I take that back. We have quite a lot. Beautiful, oh, and we have bricks in here. I think I only need two more of these to get this. And then, that is perfect. Okay, what do they need? Iron ingots. Alrighty, here we go. So, <laughs> here we go. Uh, Item cables. We have our cable wrench. Um, why do I still have ore on me? And oh, My inventory is so messy. I really need to work on it. Um, but let's go down here. <laughs> We're not wasting our time doing that. Okay. Here's the plan. We're going to have a chest here. Ooh. No, we don't want it like that. We do not want these attached. Um, hmm. Actually. We do want them attached. Yeah. Because this is going to go in the planter anyway. So the planter uses plants from underneath it. The large chest filters. Oh my god, we've done it. We've done it, we've done it. This is going to be on a filter. Okay. Wheat seeds. Filtered. I don't like the fact that this hasn't started. Does it need to be on this part? Hmm. Why hasn't that started? Because I think it should have. Hmm. It does a 9x9, nine nine, like a 9-up, nine I'm pretty sure, remember? Let's uh, grab it to make sure. Yeah, 9x9x9. Nine by nine by nine. Okay, let's try with just one chest. Maybe it doesn't like double chests. Survey says... No. Huh. Interesting. Oh, you know what? It needs to have the seeds um, on the pedestal. Like that. Yeah, there it goes. Okay. Progress. Let's take the seeds back off it so that we can work on this. Okay. So. How do we get it in there? With a hopper. Easy. So, pick up this. Um, I think it actually went in here, didn't it? Yep. So, we need a hopper going into the side of here, and apparently we don't have a hopper. How do we not have a hopper? <laughs> what happened to our hopper? I swear we had a hopper. Anyway, imagine a hopper's there, going into that. No, that doesn't work. We need this. Okay, I have done, I've done it. I've, I've actually cracked the code. I've cracked the case. We're going to have this here and here. We're going to go under here. Yep, that looks fine. The chest will be there. This pedestal will be on top. 
and it will have the item filter. Um, and it will have wheat seeds. Okay. Um, then we will link it. So, this guy... That's already linked. That, that's receiving. This guy will then receive. So, I've right-clicked him to receive. And he gets it sent from this one. Okay? And it won't be able to send this dirt. Because dirt is not in here. And that's where it gets its filter from. Um, so, then... We're going to grab all this wheat. All these wheat seeds. And we're going to give it a test. Wheat seeds in there. Let's see. We should see... Whoop, but we're not. <laughs> Why are we not? Let's maybe get some room so that we can, I don't know, look around. These wheat seeds should be going into that. And then, you know. Huh. Oh, you know the problem? I figured it out. Um, this guy doesn't automatically output. He, d he, just, he just doesn't. It, it's that simple. Um, so what we need instead is the pedestal, which I think just got sucked up. Yep. This guy to be, say, um, over here, and we got to hook it up with cable. So we can place this guy here. <laughs> I, I find it funny that you can place them on the side. Place it there. Um, we're going to link them again. So you are going to receive from you. Link successful. Um, we're going to need to place an item cable. Beautiful. And... Hmm. Now my problem is this is going to output everything, which obviously we don't want. Whereas if the if this took out what it needed, it would. Okay. Is there a different way to do this? Is there an item... A filtered import? An export upgrade. Takes items from the pedestal and it inserts them into the inventory. Takes items from a below inventory and puts them in the pedestal. There we go. That's what we wanted. Um, so this is what? A hopper and a blank upgrade. Perfect. There we go. We've, we've cracked the case. We need one hopper. And then we can do this perfectly. Alrighty, we have the hopper. Now we need a blank upgrade. So there we go, an upgrade base. I keep saying blank because in other mods it's called blank. Then we have an import upgrade. Perfect. Exactly what we wanted. Let's head down here. Boom, 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 boom. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. You guys are going to love this. <laughs> Place this on top. Perfect. Then attach the... Oh, it's still... I don't think it's still what we want it to do. We need this to be like a, a filtered. A filtered import upgrade. There we go. And oh. Hmm. No. How does the filtered work? Text if any items in the blow inventory can be sent to a connected pedestal. If true, it pulls those items. That is exactly what we want. <laughs> yes, that's perfect. Because we've got it linked to another one with a filter. So it'll only... Oh, that is awesome. I, I'm a fan of that. Okay. We need a blank upgrade. We're going to need to make a... We need an upgrade base, sorry. I've got the name right. We need a little bit more of the industrial hemp. Um, from the looks of things, we also need to plant some more of these uh, seeds. So why don't I just... Uh, demolish these and plant them. <laughs> oh, apparently we have plenty of string. I don't know. I, I must have missed that before. I guess I wasn't looking for string. I was looking for wool. Um, okay, there we go. That gives us an item filter, which is what we wanted. Then we get the import, and that gives us a filtered import upgrade. Perfect. Th this should work. I, I don't see how it couldn't work. Um, okay. So I place this, and now it should take... Assuming they're still linked, which they might not be. I might need to link them again. So this guy's going to receive from here. Link successful. <gasps> how cool is that? Hmm... It doesn't automatically put it in the chest? That's odd. I... Oh, I don't want to do that. I guess it's... It doesn't really matter, though. I guess. I guess that means... Okay. That means we could do it a little bit differently. Yeah, yeah. Let's do it a little bit differently. Let's pick this up. Make it look a little a little cleaner. Um, so instead, we're going to place the chest... Here. Chest here. Um, boom, 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 boom. Pedestal, which got sucked up, didn't it? Yep. Pedestal here. With the item filter. Perfect. Um, this guy, I want to right-click. Perfect. So now it's exporting. Which is brilliant. Then I want to put a single wheat seed in there. I want to tell this guy to receive. 
from this guy, and it should be working. Oh, do you hear that? That is the sound of farming. Give it a little time to, to get a more, more of it transferred. And look at that. We got it working. So th this should be a flawless method. There we go. And all the extra wheat will end up in here. And we can deal with that later. We can, you know, I don't know, export it or something. Hmm, I'm not, I'm not too sure to be honest. Oh, you know what we can do? We can s really easily set up another um, pedestal like this one with a filter. And this will only output what can be sent to a pedestal. So it will output the wheat and send it to the other pedestal. Because it can't send it to this one. That is perfect. So here it is. This, <laughs> this is what, at least my attempt, of a pedestal auto farm looks like. We have the harvester. We have The harvester apparently has a bit of um, dirt on him. Which we don't want to give him. Um, we can actually give him a, a hoe. And you know, if the hoe has fortune or something, it'll apply it to the... The farming. Um, we have the we have the magnet to suck up all the drops. We then have that magnet transferring here, which goes into here. <laughs> which I'm sure there's a better way to do this mess, but eh, it's doing it. It's doing it anyway. Um, you know what we could probably do? We could probably send it directly to this, maybe. But yeah, we might be able to send directly to this pedestal. Possibly, I think. I think. Um, but yeah. I mean, I mean, you guys saw me put it together. Here it is working. So this guy only needs to have one wheat seed in it because it's just to tell the filter what to filter. Then it's getting exported in here. How cute's this? This is awesome. So our farm is all farmed. So here's the kicker. <laughs> we could replicate this, but we would need all of these materials if we wanted to replicate it for another farm. Like for, for the rest of these. Or... I don't know if it's possible, but we could increase the range again uh, and see how big we can make it. But automated, this should be pretty good. We'll have to we'll have to see how it goes. Um, I do want to see it working, so perhaps we oh we have a filled watering can. Let's give it a little bit of a water and see what we get, and and hopefully not have a zombie ruin our farm. Alright, we're almost there. You guys better be ready. Here it is. That one's mature. It's fully grown. We should see it get chopped. Picked up. <laughs> is it... Does it not reach? Oh, do you reckon it's not on the block? Because if it's not on the block, it won't work. If it's like a 9x9. Nine nine. Let's hear. If I hold this, it's a magnet. Oh. Okay. We need it. You know what? That's kind of good. Because that means I have to build a wall around it. And then that forces me to make this look like a cool greenhouse. <laughs> Eventually. We need to set up um, automated glass. That's what we need. Automated glass so I can build a greenhouse. Um, so maybe we try and do that in a future episode. So look. Look at how cool this is. This guy has seeds. You can see it. Even though it's in the middle of that seed. In, in that pedestal. But yeah. Awesome. I'm pretty happy with this. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please do consider subscribing. There'll be plenty more uh, fun content coming in the future. Um, I'm enjoying these pedestals because it's completely new. I've, I've never played with them before. Never even seen them be used before. So it's I'm learning them. They're, they're a little bit confusing to learn, but I like that I don't have to really, I don't know, like go to a different uh, website or something to learn how to use them. It's sort of, I can mess around for a, for a few minutes and, and figure it out slowly but surely. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, also, uh, you can join the server if you go into the Discord. Link link down below, and you can come play with me. There's a, one other person on at the moment with apparently horrible connection. Um, but I actually, did, I reviewed their base the other day. It's a massive base, so I don't think they actually have bad connection. <laughs> I would hope not. Alright, goodbye.